So you just grew an Instagram account to 17,000 followers in what, like six weeks time? Yeah, got it. Okay, now for everybody watching this, tell me this, like, can you make money on Instagram? Well, yeah, of course, anyone can. Have you made money on Instagram? Definitely. Okay, and you grew to what, 17,000 followers in like six weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so for those of you that are watching this right now, um, what I want you to hear from Carl right now is just his kind of background and his thoughts pertaining to Instagram because a lot of people think that they need to have a personal account or they need to show their face and while you can obviously you know make a lot of money with a personal brand you don't necessarily have to right Carl? No you don't for me I actually am a full-time student I play soccer at a division one level I also represent my national team so Instagram is kind of like my third string thing that I'm taking a crack at and I love it because it's just the right thing that you can put a little bit of time on the side each and every single day and it can have big results that's why i love instagram so much that's amazing and you're how old um 22 years old and you haven't really been doing it for that long right no i've been in the game about a little bit over a year now i mean it takes a little bit to get it going but once you do it's it's a minefield that's amazing man so what do you think in the next like 30 days how many followers do you think you'll reach you're at 17,000 now what do you think you'll hit in the next 30 days in the next 30 days honestly it's been getting faster and faster wouldn't be surprised if I'm up to like 30 35k to be honest <laughs> that's awesome and by then you're probably gonna be making thousands of dollars per month from the account I mean yeah that's definitely the goal to be fair yeah that's sick you're in school you're playing soccer like that's <laughs> a commitment man like yeah. I, need to get, I need to get back on the field and stuff like soccer is my thing and i uh it's it's full time man like staying and mm -hmm. not just playing the game but conditioning for it and staying in shape and eating the right things like that alone is a is a full-time lifestyle it's so, true it's true and then school on top of that as well i don't know it's it's funny because there's a lot of people doing either or and then <laughs> like when you're doing both and then trying to start a business it's some serious hustle like i don't think i see it any moment but i think like, i'm gonna look back and be like wow i was really doing that shit. <laughs> do you uh do you have a girlfriend i do right now yes i do <laughs> well then you you're like you got basically everything the only thing you could add to that is like pets yeah true <laughs> <laughs> right. so, holy shit man that's funny um all right cool so uh tell me what you got going on here because i'm i've been telling you like the whole time um you've got such an engaging profile and like here here's here's the thing you know leo ahmad right mm -hmm. okay so i was talking to him last night and i was like you know he's doing uh maybe fifty thousand dollars a month for his agency mm -hmm. and you know he's 20 mm -hmm. but he doesn't have an email list he has well, he has 200 people on a chat bot and he told me this last night and i literally was like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> like what are you doing man um and he's like yeah i haven't done you know ads or anything like that and i get that because like i i started off that way i'm like well i don't have money for ads and like shit if i had just taken like you know 50 percent of everything i earned and and chosen to learn about ads Mm -hmm. I would have been able to scale my business so much faster because like think about it man it's like ads when you get inside the platform there's a lot of shit to look at and you're like what the heck is this like it gets confusing but fundamentally it's like okay if I have a soccer program and I can put my ad in front of the person that is looking for exactly what I have to offer like game over and you can't do that uh, yeah. in a like a networking environment where you're just reaching to random people but ads you can be like look I want it to pop in front of only Asian people that are between 18 and 23 that live in the Philippines and played soccer today like legit you can get almost that targeted like wicked scary so yeah, yeah, yeah. with your shit dude building a list is gonna be crucial um, because you're gonna be able to retarget them through the list. You're gonna be able to retarget them um, through uh, 
ads because you can upload that list as a custom audience. And mm -hmm. even if they do not buy that initial product that you offered them after taking multiple angles and really trying to reach that person, you can always go a different route realizing that maybe that isn't what that person wanted so you have something else for them you know not everybody right. wants the thousand dollar webinar but everybody that sees the value in it and is in the position or could be convinced i'll sell but everybody else you know if they're you know 16 and they legit only have like a hundred dollars in their name but they want to get started somewhere i gotta have like an entry point for them you know right 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 uh what's you got this funnel now what's how is it structured what what's the product slash products what do you intend to do right so the first one would just be like a free giveaway this one is just a capture for like anyone who's playing so it's just basically um a pdf and also a three video series on things that you can do right now today that would help you better prepare for your games better <laughs> perform during your game and better recover after your game okay so it's like you take action right now you can literally be a better player in 30 minutes okay um okay. then the next one is is one that i realized um a lot of people aren't doing but a lot of people are asking for is like stuff on confidence so it's funny because um i'm studying um sports psychology right now so i'm literally doing uh, in class assignment on confidence and that kind of stuff so right. i can just really use the academic stuff i'm learning and repurpose yeah. it for like yeah for my audience and yeah. put together like a small confidence series teaching them three strategies and they'll have some like little worksheets and stuff this is why i want to be the 27 dollar offer okay and then okay I'm thinking I could get above that. I don't know exactly the price ranges, but two more products I think could do well are like a uh, mental toughness kind of series where I would teach them stuff like um, meditation and goal setting, that kind of stuff. And then there's the one-on-one -on -one coaching, which would be me and them. I could sit down, map out their schedule for like a month, show them here's where you have time to be doing extra sessions these are the extra sessions you're going to be doing that okay okay so i like that that would be the most probably most high ticket i like yeah. that okay um what is and and this is actually somewhat irrelevant but and i kind of mm. asked you this before do you feel that your followers that you're getting are players or fans definitely players i realize as the account really? is starting to get bigger like it's just more general people but like the core of the account are definitely players like i get tons of questions from players okay. and not just like not even just okay. young aspiring players but like players just playing rec leagues player, you know what i mean players that want to get back into the game that haven't been in for a while so like it's, it's a it's a lot more like wiggle room than i thought in the beginning excellent excellent i love that and i mean you you've got you've got something rare because a lot of people got to do the fake it till till they make it thing but you've got mm -hmm. something rare because you do have like you're not messy yet but you are playing you're pl you're playing at a division one college yeah mm -hmm. okay so fuck, dude that's that's like the top one percent of the top one percent for college players playing at a division yeah. one college it doesn't get better than that yeah. and to, to have the experience there and also be playing for your national team and also to have a story saying look i'm not from here i'm from what barbados exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i'm from this tiny fucking island that nobody's even heard exactly. of you know, when they think barbados they think like blackbeard and pirates and shit uh, like that is a story that people are really going to connect with and that story yeah. needs to be told through your content it should be part of your ads it should be something that you use to get people connected to you you know it's like mm -hmm. you know when people when people rap or they sing like you especially in rap rappers a lot of times they rap about things they're facing or struggles or their story or whatever and that is right. what makes them have fans because they connect with it so mm -hmm. that's huge for what you're doing and like I'm just saying dude there's a this is a wicked beginning to something that's gonna make you a lot of money because you've got mm -hmm. the experience uh, you're not afraid to put your face out there and you understand like the concept of marketing so yeah. what I would be doing is I would have that free offer like you said and mm -hmm. um, you get your funnel up 
and you get your email targeting set up, your, your sequence, whatever you're doing there, I recommend that you have your free offer and um, the people that come into the free offer, you're going to distribute them uh, helpful, encouraging, uplifting, but direct emails for seven to 10 days that basically take multiple angles at getting them from the free offer to the next step, which is the $27 product. But when they go from the free initially, what's gonna happen is they see this free offer, they opt in, and from there, they're gonna do one of two things. They're gonna either drop out and not go for the what we call the OTO, the $27 offer, or right. they're gonna go for it. And if they don't, you're retargeting them through your email content. You're also ultimately going to want to retarget them through ads, but let's, mm -hmm. let's do that, let's do that second. And then when they come into the free offer, it's kind of like, and I, I talked about this before, it's like, hey, congratulations, you made the perfect decision. Allow me to, to or excuse me, congratulations, you made the perfect decision. And now we have something important to discuss right now. Um, your blah, blah, blah will arrive to your email in a few minutes. It's already on its way, I've already sent. In the meantime, we have a very important matter to discuss. Mm -hmm. And that is where you go into your, your little mini story, your little pitch, uh, what they have the opportunity to get right now, why it's going to help them, um, what it's going to do for them, your guarantee, uh, you put some scarcity, um, I don't want the whole world to have this because you need to have a competitive advantage, you don't want every player on the field having this, especially when you're a left wing and you have to compete with the, the right D on a really good team, you don't want to have them have this because this is this is going viral but i'm limiting how many people can get this so right now today you can get you know whatever this 27 dollar thing is normally be 97 dollars. i want you to be able to come off the field replace your broken shin guards so i'm, I'm gonna take some of that money away and uh -huh. send it to you for 27 dollars right now today and i'm doing that because i know you're gonna get such great success and i know you're gonna be one of the biggest testimonials out there and I want you to do so well. So you got a decision to make, you got the red pill or the blue pill, which one do you want to take? And mm -hmm. it's just a, you know, I would say a three to four minute video that uh, sells them on this. And right. then you're going to get that $27 sale. Here's the beauty of it is you're going to pull in a bunch of free leads from Instagram. But if a small percentage of those people become $27 uh, oh there we go if a, if a yeah. small percentage of them become a $27 buyer mm -hmm. uh, say you get a hundred leads through the uh, the free offer but uh, let's say eight of them buy the upsell so mm -hmm. you've got just over $200 in sales there what that means is uh, you can scale that really fast with ads. So if you take that over to Facebook or YouTube and you have video ads running that are targeting the right audience, you know, mm -hmm. soccer players, people that want to up their game, and you're putting right. this in front of them, you might spend the $100 or the $200 and just make 200 back. So mm -hmm. money-wise, it makes zero sense to you because you're like, I'm not making any money from it. But right. you're building your list for free and if you uh, can do two hundred dollars, then you can spend four hundred dollars a day, and all of a sudden, you legit might spend a thousand dollars a day. And people would think, for what, dude? It's called a break-even funnel. Russell Brunson does it, and he's like, you know, I'm building my list for free. I turn the dial up. You know, if I got just enough people buying this little OTO, well, shit. Like, I'm getting all these free leads that I can now nurture, and cultivate, build a relationship with, and that's where your your one-on-one. -on -one, your your mindset your confidence coaching whatever it is goes in and mm -hmm. now you're up selling on the back end those 300 500 thousand dollar products right yeah i understand yeah that makes so, sense I've, I've i've heard of that as well um like reinvesting everything to make sure you get these cheap leads keep coming in and then i'm gonna start to like uh, making longer form videos on youtube and stuff i see you do your you do your email marketing really really well i like reading your emails and i see how well you like drive your traffic to other places as well yeah for sure. that's that's where that's where i want to get to as well i post every day there's not a day yeah. that goes by i won't post mm -hmm. and what it is is like 
if you're built if you're going on YouTube like you think about Instagram people come to see pictures and they're cultured to watch short videos mm -hmm. on YouTube it's a learning platform so yeah. when you're publishing content out there like people are taking that in for minutes and minutes at a time and all of that watch time and your subscribers can be retargeted so when you're running ads if mm -hmm. you've got like a hundred thousand minutes of watch time which is probably from uh, you know 50,000 people right uh, well what that means is you know there's 50,000 individuals that are warmed up to you to an extent that you yeah, can run yeah, after yeah. you and it's not mm -hmm. cold so if you're culturing people through your YouTube presence and then you're placing your ads in there as long as you're posting you're always staying ahead your audience is growing faster than you are pulling uh, pulling them in from ads so it's right. like a replenishable uh, source of water that you're not gonna like, uh, you know, exhaust. And mm -hmm. um, you can you can definitely turn a lot of profit there. But I, I'm just telling you, man. Like if you keep hustling and you don't, and I know you know this, but like if you don't have the mindset like fuck this is too hard and it's not paying off yet. Like if you just keep going, mm -hmm. uh, I think that you're gonna make. I think you'll do multiple six figures next year.